Hey everybody, this is The Fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about using granular synthesis to create some uh, really cool textures and other kinds of unique sounds for your tracks. Uh, so you can do this using any granular synthesizer that you want. Uh, I personally use the Fruity Granulizer, and you know, it, it looks pretty simple, but it's capable of making some really, really cool sounds. So in this video, I'm not going to be talking so much about how the granulizer works. I may do that in another tutorial. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in that for a future video. But you know, today's video is a quick tip, um, just that you can use the 3D granulizer to make some cool sounds. And so the way you kind of do it is, you know, load any sample you want into the granulizer and adjust the settings. Uh, you don't need to know exactly what they do as long as you can just kind of adjust them and hear the effect it has on the sound. Uh, you know, you can test out turning the loop on, you can test out turning the random up, the panning, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. And just play around with it and see what kind of sounds you can come up with. Um, and if you do manage to come up with something cool, you can save it and maybe use it in a track for the future. So I want to show you a few different textures that I've made using a granulizer. Um, and I think uh, you'll find them to be kind of cool, and hopefully it'll inspire you to try out using the Fruity Granulizer or whatever other granular synthesizer you might have. Uh, so here's an example. I took a recording of the ocean, uh, you know, kind of waves and seagulls and stuff at the ocean, and I put it in the granulizer and then adjusted the settings until it came up with this cool texture. Uh, there is a chord pad that's layered on top of it, so the chord progression you hear isn't the granulizer, but the kind of cool background texture you hear is the granulizer. And so you can kind of hear at the end there, it has a cool uh, kind of speeding up effect. And that actually leads into kind of where the beat drops. Um, but the way I did that is I just automated one of the parameters on the granulizer. And, you know, sometimes you might automate a couple, um, but, you know, doing that kind of stuff can create some really cool sounds. Uh, here's another section of a track that I made, uh, quite an old track. Uh, but where I used the, I, I used two fruity granulizers. I used one with a crowd cheering audio to make the cool kind of phasey weird sound. And then I used another one on a wind chime sound that I pitched down a lot. And so I, I think it makes a, a really cool kind of atmosphere uh, just using those both together. And again, this example does have other sounds that play kind of a melody, and those sounds weren't made with the granulizer, but just the kind of background atmosphere uh, was made. So you can kind of hear the wind chimes. Um, you know, they sound kind of interesting, and also the crowd. Um, I'll play it again all the way through. Um, so I'll play again this section at the end here where I, you know, I automated again one of the parameters, maybe a couple on the granulizer to create kind of a, a morphing effect. And you'll hear this as I play this uh, little section through. And yeah, I think that's just a really nice effect. So the next example is uh, using the granulizer on 
Uh, it's actually one of the stock vocal samples that come with FL Studio. But using the granulizer on it made it sound really cool to me, and I'm hoping to actually use this in a full track that I'm working on. And I'll just, I'll just play that, and you'll hear it kind of has like a delay effect, but all of that is caused by the granulizer. Um, so I, you know, I think it's really cool, but here's what it sounds like. And so one final example, real quick, is kind of the lead sound you hear, uh, the really weird lead sound you hear in this, uh, was made with the granulizer as well. Uh, so yeah, you know, um, Quite a variety of different types of sounds you can make. Um, I'll actually, I actually will show you one more. Okay, so this sound here, um, also made with a granulizer. Basically, I took a sample of a lead instrument sound, and I put in a granulizer, really changed how it sounded with the granulizer, distorted it, and came up with this uh, sound that you hear right here. So yeah, you know, there's a huge variety of um, the different kinds of sounds that you can make using a granulizer, um, atmospheric uh, kind of vocal effects, uh, lead sounds, you know, def definitely a big variety. And hopefully this video um, inspires you to try out using granular synthesis to make some cool sounds, uh, or even just introduces you to the idea of granular synthesis. Because I know I don't see Fruita Granulizer used very much, and I definitely like it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like, and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials, and I try to release new ones every week. I also do my best to keep things pretty organized so that you can find what you're looking for a bit more easily. So thanks again guys for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you next time.